So today's video is going to be ranking the age troopers of the TNR season 7. I'm only going to be including season 7. I know I included one is season 6, but that was because it's ranking them as a whole. But age group, I'm only going to be ranking based on season 7, and my hair's probably going to annoy me in this video. I just can't seem to get it looking right in the videos at the moment. Bottom we have Kenzie. I feel like Kenzie in terms of choreo deserves better because the choreo she did does not show her strengths. I would love to see Kenzie do more hip hop because she's so good at hip hop like you should have seen her in the girls hip hop dance in season 6. Pop is one of Kenzie's stronger styles. I feel like Kenzie is not given the opportunity to do that kind of running theme with loads of age troopers. Kenzie sometimes is behind in Koro, like you can see in the main attraction, I'm not talking about main attraction in season 7 episode 2, but I'm talking about the one in episode 12. So I'll check that out, as far as you see you can see it. In the girls bit you can tell the choreo didn't suit her well, they also zoomed in on her when she was clearly not doing as well as Piper who was behind her. When This annoyed when they're showing dancers they're not doing as well. This didn't annoy me when I saw it in the episode, this was when I was watching it in the extended dance and when I saw Mocking Ariana's video, like Mocking Ariana 3's done this video so I would urge you to so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Slick Jumped Over the Lazy Dog and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Mocking Ariana 3. In the first episode Kendi Kenzie danced in socks which I would have done in bare feet because Kenzie slipped a few times. In the dance ma mini dance in Dance Mania the thing she did with Finn was the most impressive thing she did all season. Her do at Kingston was very basic, a lot of walking around looked very stiff. I don't know why Lily said this is the most romantic duet I've ever seen. Her do it with Heath was also basic, boring, a lot of walking around. Kenzie never got the chance to show she was a good dancer. In season 6, Kenzie falling behind Solo was so good. She did a lot of tumbling, she showed a lot of emotion. I really enjoyed watching it, she did really well. She did a fusion of hip hop and contemporary with Finn. I really enjoyed that dance and I have some tea. Cheers to liking season 6 dances more than season 7. Like, I didn't enjoy the dances a lot, so. Her audition to not be the ultimate, she was great, even though I don't get why season seven, 6 Kenzie was to be the ultimate when I seriously wouldn't have picked her, probably. Might have, might have not. I don't even know. She did a great duet with Jackie, great duet with Summer. At the end of the dance at regional, she did a hip hop dance, she did well in the hip hop dance of regionals. I don't know why they would not show Kenzie her best ability. One up from Kenzie is Finn. Finn is capable of doing loads of stuff more than he's ever shown to do. Finn in the group dance is just a filler person. And what I mean by that is he's only in the dance to fill up the dance rather than being in the dance because he's a good dancer. You see the girls doing amazing things, Rochelle running up to him. You have Lily and Piper in the Dance Mania dance and all Finn does is lift them. And in Eight Crazy Dates all Finn does is lift Lily and lift Rochelle. I don't think Finn has ever had a solo on the show, he didn't get the chance to audition for male soloist. Which is unfair because there are only four boys on the team, like four boys. That's not a lot of people to audition. In Tell the Story, I was impressed with Finn Solo. In season six, I didn't like Finn's dancing, so why would they not show Finn's true ability? In the dance Finn did with Piper and Amy, Finn didn't do much, but that is going 
off the episode. I don't think there's an extended version. Like, let me just check. The next step. Right, let me just have a quick look and see if I can find it. I could be wrong. But. Not seen it. I can find tell the story. Sort of. No, I can't find it. Nope. Nope, I can't find it. So I and the reason why Finn is above Kenzie is because Finn can do stuff Finn can do the stuff well whereas Kenzie is behind compared to other people and doesn't bring a lot. When Finn gets the chance to dance, he does really well. Finn is a forgettable as a dancer. He is more of a character than a dancer on a dance team. Above Finn, this is going to shock a lot of people, and this is not because I hate Lily, but it's, we have Lily. This is not because I hate Lily. After season seven, I did not expect to be putting her third from the bottom. I feel like Lily needs more energy when she dances, but she has the same facial expression on her face all the time. Lily really fakes her emotions, especially in the episode when Jake comes in. I prefer her winking and smiling, because at least you know it's over-exaggerated, and that's the point. Also, I find Lily does the same moves a lot now. She's become very normal and not entertaining anymore. I don't get why Lily couldn't still be a jazz acro dancer and do the stuff she did in season 6 where she'd drop into the splits. I don't get why she couldn't do that in season 7. Season 6 Lily was probably... Lily, not season 7 Lily. Just to see if more of season 6 Lily. Also, it would be nice to see Lily front and centre being confident because Lily is a confident person. She doubted whether her mum was in her head too much. But I did prefer, like, you should see her solo in season 6 for the convention. That one was quite good. Above Lily is such a shock, Amy. I like Amy's dancing, even though season 7 she's... She has been strong, but same as Finn, Amy became more of a character than a dancer. Season 7, Amy turned forgettable rather than memorable. She was impressive in Tell the Story. Amy didn't do a lot of dancing. She had a duet with Henry. She had one with Piper, but that was not a dominant style. That was swing. I feel like Amy didn't do a lot of dancing. She also has lost her flexibility from Season 6, which is not a bad thing. I know you get older and you, you lose flexibility from going to happen. Amy was a standout performer at Dance Mania. She did very well. I feel like when they were rehearsing, Amy didn't do a lot. If a troop were even rehearsing, like I'm not sure they were. Example, when Dance Mania came in, Amy was sat down a lot of the dance. Amy was moaning last season. She wanted to be front and centre. Now she just wants to sit down. Like, I'll tell you some of her good dances from season 6. Like, I can't... Like, any good season 6 dances. Like, she was good in Tell the Story. She was good in the Nutcracker dance in the Christmas special. Amy was good in Acronations Columns dance, their Giant O's dance, their Ballet dance, their Contemporary dance. Amy was good in a lot of dances, in Acronations dances.
Amy was good in filling in when she needed to fill in for Rochelle. She was good in the convention dance. Her solo, which was so good, can't stop me now. Acronations Trio, Amy was good. Henry's duet, Amy was good. Like, Amy did really well in season six. And now she's not really done as well. Above Amy, we have Ozzy. If you've been watching me for a long time, you'll know I don't like Ozzy. I can't knock Ozzy that he's better than the people below him. Ozzy was good in Alice in Wonderland and in One Dance, his little solo at Dance Mania. Ozzy's improved since season six. He's more of a lead dancer, started doing more lifts with the girls. I can see he puts in a lot of effort in when he dances and he does have the energy but he does occasionally look down a lot. He looked down a lot in his duet with Izzy. I feel like Izzy outshined him in that dance because his moves were not quite as sharp as hers and he didn't have as much energy as she did. I feel like season 6 Ozzy had a lot more personality now. He dances very straight face. I feel like Ozzy's lost his personality. Like, obviously, I didn't like him goofing around. But I liked his personality when he did dance. And I like... I like... His moves now. But I don't like the fact he's got no personality. In season 6, I liked his personality. But I didn't like his moves. So much. But Ozzy did have his own crews that no one could figure out as well. I think TNS tried to turn Ozzy into a contemporary hip hop dancer when Ozzy was more on the jazz side. Above Ozzy, we're gonna ha we have Piper. Piper, since season six, has come a long way with her dancing. She can now do an aerial. But Piper's been outstanding in all her dances. The one thing that lets her down is she couldn't put on a brave face. A dance mania when she is mad at Finn. That's the reason why she's here because she's. She's still samey, like, I would like to see her do hip-hop, because we know she can do hip-hop. Nice to see Piper do some different things. Piper at the start was impressive, but now she's become predictable again. Piper was good in Alice in Wonderland, and good in the rest of One Dance. Piper does have good turns. Piper doesn't rush her moves, she has good movement quality. Above Piper we have Heath. Heath is just so much energy, so much commitment when he dances, he gives it 110%. I remember in his alternate audition he just went for it without stopping. Like it was one move, then one move, then one move, like continuously, he didn't stop. He just is so passionate and dedicated to his dancing, sometimes it looks a bit messy when he's rushed it. But when he's super sharp and dynamic, and in season 7, episode 12, he f did a trick that we didn't see him do. Above Heath, we have Summer. Summer is not terrible, but she is samey a lot. She can kill it like the solo she did when she was trying to figure out what to do. And when the war is over, she killed it at the start, but then after a while, she got tired. She's definitely not as good as season 6. Season 7, she has pretty much the same things like an illusion, a leg kick, a box split, turns, an aerial. That's like it. The splits. Summer doesn't does use her face, but that's what I'm attracted to, not her moves. Dance Mania, she did good. I didn't enjoy some of this season. I didn't enjoy her audition for Dance Mania. I like Summer's box split leap, but she's not as versatile in season seven as she is in season six. Be nice to see Summer do hip hop, which we know she can do, like see the girls hip hop dance in season six. Henry, I like, Actually, above Summer we have Henry. I like, but I didn't like 
his relationship with Summer. I wish they'd got in one with Amy straight away. Which he has done now, which I'm so happy about. Cheers to that. And Henry not liking Beetroot going to nationals, but overall I do like his character. When Henry does hip hop, he's outstanding. I wish he could get more of a chance to show. In terms of main roles in dances, more so those duets because he's so good and he's never been properly. Jonah's what he can show him what he can do. He's never been properly appreciated for what he can do. In Henry's solos, you can see his energy and his confidence. I feel like Henry gets put in these dances where he can't show his potential. Henry had a hip-hop solo that he made contemporary hip-hop with Amy. I don't know why they couldn't keep it to hip-hop and have Amy do the same hip-hop moves because Amy can do hip-hop like she's in Acre Nation's hip-hop routine. Next is... Rubber Burns, Henry didn't get to show his full potential because it was a jazz dance. Barely any hip-hop. Even at Dance Mania, Henry couldn't show off his hip-hop. Some Wonderland, they could have had the Mad Hatter do a hip-hop section. One dance that was all jazz, nothing Henry was fantastic at doing. I feel like the next step really should pay to their dan play to their dancers' strengths more because I feel like they don't do that. He is always impressed in me and he never stops. That's why I enjoy watching Henry dance. Third place was Henry. We have in second place Kingston. The only reason Kingston is above Henry is nothing to do with dance ability. It's because Kingston's more versatile than Henry. Can Kingston can do hip hop contemporary ballet because he did those baby ballet classes. It's the only reason Kingston is slightly above Henry. Kingston and Henry have the same energy levels. Kingston also has charisma like Henry does. Kingston uses his whole body. His moves flow through his whole body, which I like. Henry can also do that. I also like Kingston can, did do lifts, which I don't think Henry did. And Rochelle stands, you're going to be so pleased. Rochelle is top. Rochelle always brings something different to the table. Like, I loved her president solo because it was so good. Like, that's where she is because of her president solo because she's so good. Her audition for Dance Mania was really good. It's just a shame you couldn't see her in that dance, One Kid, properly. Would have been. I liked her tricks in her Dance Mania solo. And I liked her song, but I just felt like there could have been a bit more. I liked the Empire solo, the moves in that. Like I like to see her have a whole flashback solo. I liked what she did in Thunder Bros, like Summer could definitely not do that. Like she's ahead of Summer in terms of hip hop. She did well in Main Attraction, she did well in Rubber Bands. So she has done good in all her dances across the season. She did well in the Nutcracker dance in the Christmas special. Like, she's just constantly good. Which not many dancers have been. So, I just sort of think she's just so good. Like, I do like her dancing. She just needs to bring a bit more facial. And then she'd be fine. Like, that's all that's letting her down. Like, because she's so good. Like... So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you with another video. Bye.